speed, 10 RPM. Screen slot, 10 thousandths of an inch. Machine being used, KP10. They can ignore this down here because we've got a wide slot down there. They yep. Ignore that. This end down here has the wide slots. This screen had been run in the in the opposite like position with the uh, with this end and down at the discharge, and that's where it normally wears the most. But in order to essentially double the life of the screen, you can turn it around. Catch it so right in here. We've ended up with uh, where you see a little bit of extra leakage there at the beginning because of the uh, wide slots at the inlet. There doesn't seem to be anything in the way of print on the outside of the screen at the discharge end. We're getting some press liquor from the worst possible area right down there at the, the discharge. We'll get some again. Pressure 70 psi. Timed test going on to determine capacity. You need to pull it that way a bit? Pull the purple that way? Did we lose much? Well, they got two of you, one more. Uh, might as well get a third one. Be sure to get them out of here, not out of there. Try from this side this time. Try from this side this time. Just to kind of see if there's any difference. Like, there's quite a bit coming out over here. And it could be different from one side to the other. wasn't me. Andrew, I need your help. Let me know that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I'm up and I'll try that. Dang it. Ready? Yeah, it's on it. Okay. see there are from the screen wear. I, I don't know that see, it's a continuum. Because it near as much as we had on the other screw and screens. They were getting so much it's actually slobbing up and falling to the bottom. We don't have enough to get a sample. Right, there's not enough on the outside of the yeah. screen to there's even scrape off and time. send. Check the other side. I know, I don't know where put them. Right Yeah, there's slightly more over here. I got them. Oh, it's ever so slight though.
I'll see if I can't scrape some just for the grins, but it's gonna be tough. This is down by the inlet end, and, and that, what you see there, is a combination of stuff that fell, didn't go into the hopper. See, it fell, fell down, probably fell into the screen, I mean into the drain pan. And then some of this is from those worn slots. But down here is the discharge end where the tight slots are. It's particularly good. tiny drop of liquid out between my fingers. Yeah, it's hard to film, but there, you can see that. Those are the drops coming out. That was at what I think is our full plant air pressure. Uh, come on, about 70 PSI. I think you'd run with a multiplier before, but um, the multiplier is gone. It's not here anymore. So we just did full plant air. But it looked very encouraging. I mean, it looked like it was a great improvement over what had happened before. And I don't know if taking a closer look at this germ is helpful, but I figured I'd give it a shot. We're going to be sending some anyway, but uh, this was a minute and 45 seconds worth of press liquor. Thirty-nine one minus I think one eight it says on the tail minus one point eight. We've weighed this style of pail a bunch of times. It's one point eight. Thirty-nine point one. And so gross was thirty-nine point one. From the same time period in the purple. Uh, tub is the pressed cake that was collected. Bob is bagging up some of the pressed cake as samples to send, but putting it back into the tub so we can get its weight. So there's a minute and 45 seconds. Tear on one of these? 6.1. 6.1 is the tear on the purple tub. 